Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Today, I'm going to share you some ideas on how much God loves us. Do you love God? Of course, we do. Now, let's see how much God loves us too. Can we measure God's love for us? Let me show you three objects that would help us prove that God really loves us so much. Do you know what are these? You're right. They are measuring cups. When do we use measuring cups? Yes, we use them to measure some ingredients in baking. Can we to measure how much God's love is for us using these measuring cups? Let's find out what it says in 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 12. God loves me with a love that is increasing and overflowing. So God's love for us can't be measured by these measuring cups. How about this? You're right, it's a tape measure. When do we use tape measure? Yes, we use this when we would like to get the exact length and width of an object or how short or high is an object. But can we use this tape measure to measure how long or high is God's love for us? Let's find out the answer in the book of Psalm chapter 108 verse 4. It says, for your steadfast love is great above the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. So, even the tape measure can be used to measure God's love for us. Lastly, what is this? You're right, it's a watch. What is the use of a watch? Of course, it tells us time. It tells us when to start and end our tasks every day. But can we measure how long God gonna love us using this watch? Does God's love for us end? Let's read what the Bible says in Psalm 136 verse 26. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of God of heaven, for his love endures forever. So, not even the watch can measure God's love for us. But you know, friends, there's one thing I've found that can measure God's love for us. That is by looking at the cross. When you look at the cross, you could say how much God loves you. If someone asks you how much God loves you, you answer him, he loves me that much. He died on the cross. Because He loves us unconditionally, He gives us His beautiful promise in John chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's all for now, friends. Thanks for listening. Keep safe and God bless.